Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 123 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> uh, we're back here today and I have plans. I finally got everything finished and ready to go over at the Coliseum. And I want to start off by summoning the Wilden Chimera. <laughs> uh, so I have, I've been reading up on my eccentric tome because it's been a while uh, since I've done any Ars Nouveau. So I wanted to kind of, I wanted to play around with uh, my bow and sword spells that are on them. But I didn't, I, I ran out of time. <laughs> I had things I had to do today, so my time to play is a lot smaller. Uh, so I only wound up getting, you know, maybe a couple of hours, if that. So I've got to kind of squeeze this in. So what I'm going to summon one, and hopefully it'll go well, and I have enough to summon him twice. Uh, I don't know that I need the um thing twice uh, but let's see let's see here what is the it's the uh summon wilden chimera uh, now this is concerning because it says it will destroy blocks around the brazier so i think and maybe if i put like I don't know how much of that gets destroyed. Uh, maybe since it's a shield block, it won't destroy it. I'm not 100% certain about that. <laughs> uh, but I think um, I could maybe get some bricks. Bricks. And, and just put them over there and check this out. Okay. Uh, because of how it's set up, Oh, I have, oh man, uh, let's see, yes, at the corners here, that's, uh, that one I can't really go up, actually I can, if I just remove this, I can go up on any of the corners because I can pass through, <laughs> so that is a good little way, why? Why is this white? Um, is it just a glitch? Hmm, that is that is really weird. It's supposed to be all one color. Um, is that like a chunk border or something? Uh, that was the wrong button. Uh, yes, that is. Uh, this chunk, I bet it's something to do with that um, chunk loading thing. So I bet just logging off and logging back in will fix that. Um, I'm hoping. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, like, I just started, uh, but since... Okay, that turned everything off. Since... Uh, I'm going to do a battle. I want to make sure that this part is still functioning because that would suck if they came over. I would think this would still be a solid block though, but it may allow them to get out over here. So I'm going to pause the recording real quick to log out and log back in. <laughs> okay, that worked. That fixed it. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, so let's try to do this. Uh, Actually, I don't need the chunk orders for that. Um, I kind of need to bring this up. Ooh, that one's like way off. So it'd be kind of like that. Uh, so hopefully if I put this ritual down here, it, it will destroy that block or something. Okay, so... I remember the the summoning things, uh, the rituals, have 
augments. Uh, so you place your tablet, right? And then uh, you can augment it with something in your hand. So, boop, no, you have to Do you throw it? Aha! Okay, you throw it. That one got it. Aha! There we go. So now, what do I do? Uh, right click. Oh, it's running. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to stand right here. Uh, Aha! Check him out. So, I think he just destroyed my uh, blocks up top. Um, why is he... Oh, he... Holy cow, he just regenerated! Look at this. That's, uh, yeah, I think he just destroyed that. It might be because, um, why can't he move? I, it looks like he is trapped, though, by that. I'm glad he went over to the corner. Oh, he's healing again? Like, what the crap? Yeah, you just stay over there. Um, what if I... <laughs> Dogs are stuck outside. He's running away. I want to get looting. Sweet! So we got the Wilden Tribute. Awesome! Um, yeah, this is, um... That is not good. I mean, it's a shield. I didn't think it would be able to just be destroyed like that. Um, maybe it's not really gone? Uh, let me pause the video and I'll log out. Log back in and see if it's just some visual glitch. But it looks to me like they're just destroyed. Um, so, sad face. Okay, I logged out and logged back in. It is definitely still gone. I mean, it's not uh, it's not too bad at the moment. Um, like, I really would like this to come up higher, but that's where the fence is. Um, so I don't know. I kind of like the fence, but... Uh, it might have to turn into a little bit higher wall just so we can keep that from happening again. Um, I'm tempted to lower it down, but at the same time, I would much prefer that these get destroyed than uh, the ground. <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm happy that it happened that way. Uh, so thing is, uh, let's see what this is used for. I know it's used in the spell book. Uh, so, honestly, oh, you can make a focus of summoning. Yes, I definitely want one of those. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and get a second one of these guys. Um, and the, uh, the Bella Thorns helped uh they killed off all the puppies so that was that was pretty good um boop boop and boop all right okay here we go i hope i hope he goes down again like he did last time all right there we go <laughs> look 
The pups? The pups just die. I like it that this has the knockback. This knocks him into the corner. Alright, and now he's regenning. So it looks like there's three phases uh, where you damage him and then he comes back. And the last one he transforms into the the flyer, I think. Oh, he's is he getting regen? Get away from my regen, punk! <laughs> That's mine. Okay, now he's going into regen mode again. Ah, oh, the Bellathorns help a lot on this fight. I I vaguely recall um, Direwolf, when he did it, he just did it out in the open. Man, like my, it looks like my arrows are... We're going astray. Look how it, it looks like it just drops to the ground when it hits him. I like it that he's got wings. I didn't get... I didn't get it. Oh, I didn't do looting. I forgot to do looting on him. And I didn't get a second tribute. Oh, that is such a bum deal. <laughs> oh, my heart is broken. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that again. I wonder, can I shoot through this? Okay, sorry about that. Um. Yeah, it's sad face, so I'm going to have to do that again. Uh, but one thing I want to do, since I have this now, I want to get my book upgraded. So uh, what do we need to make that happen? A totem of undying? I'm pretty sure I got one of those when I went. Um, let's see what we have. I'm missing a totem of undying. So, um, I'm pretty sure I got one. So maybe it's in here. Yes! Oh, there we go. Look at that. Archmage spell book. Can cast tier 3 glyphs or lower. Yes! <laughs> I'm very, 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 very happy. There are tons of tier 3 glyphs. Okay, so... Glyph. Check all those out. Um, I wonder if can I say uh, tier three? Yeah, look at all those. So we got Glyph of Summon Undead, which I totally love to be an Ars Nubo Necromancer. I mean, come on, Summon Undead, the Glyph of Wither. Flip of fly. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, apparently today is uh, the day that all the robots are calling. <laughs> so, um, intangible, that sounds pretty cool. Like maybe I could cast it on the side of a building and walk through the wall. That would be kind of cool. Lift of Split. Um, that would be kind of cool to have on the bow, I think. Um, summon Decoy, Hex, Summon Vex, Orbit. Orbit sounds really cool. Uh, 
uh, lightning, glyph of blink, and glyph of linger, and glyph of fangs. Uh, this is going to oh, give me so many things to, um, to play with. <laughs> Even more stuff to play with. I haven't uh, played with new spells in I don't know how long. I probably don't even remember how to do it. <laughs> uh, also, I came over here, I got sick of these two discs are getting filled. I, I thought I disconnected all of the stuff uh, that was coming into the system. So, I don't know what is coming in. And this this isn't like a E where I can stick it into the disc manipulator and then look at it. <laughs> like I can't see what's in there. Um, I don't know if like if I can if clicking on the top of the block will allow you to interact with it like a E because I have something on top of it. So yeah, I made a couple of discs just so it wouldn't fill up. And for some reason, they, even though they looked like this in, over here, when I made them, they came out as the, the extra storage version, which is fine. They just look black instead of white. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that though. Uh, so, I, uh, I got some more done on the base yesterday. Check it out. I, um, I redid this section and I got it all plugged up, ready to go up here. And I got the, uh, Auto crafting multi structures. I kind of redid it uh, just to to make it look cool. It's still basically the same thing. I just I like it that it's separated, <laughs> and I can I can like walk in here and and wait. Oh, this looks so cool. Um, I I really like that, and it kind of feels more like a tiny little circuit uh, with the wires running out and I can see them and uh, I can see where they connect. Uh, the other way it was, um, I know it's more efficient the other way, uh, but this just appeals to me more. <laughs> I like how this looks and I like how I, uh, I moved this away a little bit so I could uh, interact with these a lot better. Oh, and I need to check. Yes, I made, uh, I made 10 more drives. I'm going to try and fill these up. Mm -hmm. Uh, with, with stuff. <laughs> I want, I want to have all of these filled. And I, I think if I have all of these filled, I will never need another drop of storage ever again between this and my my little wall over here i believe i should be should be good with with being able to store up to two million uh items in one of these slots uh and i still have so many slots open and if that's not enough i can always add more <laughs> i can add like a, a third section up here if I want, uh, it'd still be in range of the storage controller and it would increase my storage capacity without taking up too much room, you know? Uh, so, um, I've got all this stuff, uh, definitely going on. Um, I went to go... Like, I came over here and I realized that, like, it looked like this. Uh, there were no connections. So, I don't know why, but these weren't even hooked up. So, I still have to redo this one. Uh, but, I don't, I don't really know what the Fluix crystals are using. I think they're used in the controllers. 
and certain things like acceleration cards. Oh, hey, that's a, that's a pretty common thing. Annihilation planes, spatial pylons. Uh, yeah, of course, the controller and a Fluix Pearl. Uh, oh, the glass cable. Um, is that... Yeah, I don't really know. Is that used in making the dense cable? A Fluix? Because I think you have to have Fluix covered cable to get the dense cable. Is that what I'm remembering? I'm pretty sure what oh, toggle bus that could be interesting. Let's um yeah, so you do need that in every yeah, so I might want to get that hooked up. The only thing is, is that I'm gonna like, once I get this section redone, I'm gonna redo this whole area again. So I'm kind of leery about redoing this just to redo it again. So I don't know what to do um, about that. Uh, but I did make progress and um, Check it out up here at the mob system. Uh, my my little guy, since my pools were full over there, um, basically the uh, the pipes on that end are disconnected, so it can't even come out of the ender tank. So this ender tank filled up, and then. Uh, once there was enough liquid in here, it opened up <laughs> uh, the mechanical pipe and then it started filling up. So look at it. I've got tons of essence over here. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all that stuff, uh, but it's ready to go. Um, I could even... Dude, I could even uh, get a I could use a transmitter to read this signal and if this goes off hmm see if this stays off, then it would shut, it would turn the lights on, basically shutting the system off. Or maybe even I could uh, measure what's on this tank, the one on the outside. That would be kind of cool. So like, uh, the only thing is, this is like my one complaint about laser IO, okay? <laughs> Uh, I think I love laser I.O., right? Uh, don't get me wrong, but when I was setting up the sensor uh, on this one, okay, the sensor is awesome. It basically gives you a way to create a level, a limit, a, a level emitter um without a digital network. It's a way to read the level of something, uh, which is cool, but I mean, like you have to go up by like millibuckets. Uh, see, uh, this is holding shift. It goes up 10, down 10. If you just click, it goes up and down by one. Uh, so if I push control, it goes up a hundred millibuckets. I would just like some way, uh, yeah, doing alt doesn't do anything. It just does one millibucket like 
it's a normal click. So it would be cool if they would program Alt to um, go up and down by a whole bucket, a thousand millibuckets. Uh, that way it would, because this holds 250, no, 1 million millibuckets, 1 million millibuckets. It's going to take me forever to get up to to where it could read the full the fullness of the tank. I would have to get uh, the sensor card. Uh, what is it? East, west, south. Uh, I would have to get the sensor card all the way up by a hundred millibuckets to one million, and um, and that's ten clicks per bucket. Uh, yeah, that's going to take a while. I don't, I don't know. There's no way to like type it in. So that's like my complaint is that, uh, there's no way to increase the number of this when it's a large number when it's a small number doing this uh is uh, is okay uh but when it's a large number like a million millibuckets it's not so good so being able to like have a way to type in that number or to like i said i mean even go in by a thousand millibuckets uh, in one click by pushing the alt key which isn't currently bound to anything um that would that would help a lot i think would help immensely <laughs> but yeah i think i'm going to set this up to where if this gets full it will just shut the uh the doodad off um I'm trying to think, uh, I would probably need to make some type of circuit up here since I definitely want to still keep the ability to, well, to turn it off and on down at the control room, but I also want this to be able to shut the mob system off, uh, by turning the lights on, uh, but if I come over and I'm in my control room and I want to turn it on, I don't know if it's, if it's shut down, then it should just be shut down. Uh, so I might not need to, to worry about that. Uh, if one of them is sending a signal, then it gets turned off. If I try to turn it back on, um, when I'm down there and this is already deactivated, it won't do anything because it's already receiving a signal. So that would be an issue, but I don't know. Uh, I am like really enjoying doing all the stuff and things. Um, uh, I want to do the Gaia fight um, to progress through Botania. I want to start Blood Magic. Oh man, watching Direwolf's videos while he's doing all the cool Blood Magic stuff <laughs> is really hard when I'm, I haven't even started Blood Magic and I, I absolutely love Blood Magic. I love Blood Magic as much as I love Botania and and I really love Ars Magica too. Uh, the Ars Nouveau. Um, <laughs> I never knew some of this stuff was in Ars Magica. I mean, I knew they had um, creatures that you could control and have do stuff, kind of like Domcraft Golems. Um, and Domcraft was one of my favorite mods. Uh, until they started doing, I don't know, the 
the taint biomes. I've never really liked taint biomes or having to deal with the taint. But everything else I kind of like. Um, I don't know. Um, but it looks like blood magic is kind of incorporated some of the things that I liked from uh, Thomcraft. Uh, like they, they have the, the crystals now that you can, like that was just automating the the production of will <laughs> and you have these crystals and you have to do all the stuff in the chunk and and manipulate it and I was like you know that kind of reminds me of all the when Thomcraft first came out it had these crystals that would form uh, just in caves and you would find them and and then the next thing you know it's not crystals anymore it's just an ore like everything else and that kind of I don't know it it made it less interesting to me to for it to just be an ore like everything else instead of a crystal like this I really liked farming the crystals I thought that was a a unique feature of a mod <laughs> Anyway, um, we got we got our Archmage spellbook now. I'll be able to um, upgrade all my mage armor as well. So, it's ours armor. So we have the we have the novice robes, and we upgraded those to the mage stuff, which is what I have. Um, over here see I have I put this over here because I wanted to start playing around with other stuff but if I just go boop, shift then I get all my stuff back even my shield um, which I think is really super cool uh, so I have lots more men uh, to play with so I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to upgrade my armor because I have this, this stuff to do. I don't know. I think I have all the stuff in my uh, refined storage system. I don't think I've, I haven't moved everything over yet. So a lot of it's probably still in here. Um, I am going to... Uh, in the episode here, I'm probably going to try and play around, make make some more armor. And this stuff is enchanted. Uh, it's Archmage. I already have the Archmage stuff. Maybe that's why uh, I went ahead. Archmage. Oh, because all you needed to do was have access to the end, and we did that. So, yeah. Okay, so I don't need to make my armor. I've already got the best armor for it. Uh, with Mana Boost 3 on there. I wonder if Mana Boost can have more. I might look into that and see if I was uh, holding out. To get the best armor and then didn't realize that I already had the best armor. But fire protection four, projectile protection four, protection four, and blast protection four. And stuff. So anyway, <laughs> um, maybe next episode we'll be doing uh, the Gaia fight. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to like get some... Uh, Terra Steel going to be able to summon that. Plus, don't I have to like make a beacon? Yeah, I remember I have to make a beacon. Um, which is a nether star. I don't know how many nether stars I have. Oh, I would say I used my last one on my spell book. Uh, 
that's not good okay so i won't be able to uh do the gaia fight <laughs> until i reset up my my wither area because i tore it down to build the meg super ultra mega base uh at almost a million nether ports I have so much stuff over here that I just need to, I need to empty it all. Oh wait, that is, that is my system. That's not the, uh, that's not the dire wolf stuff. But yeah, I have, I have so much stuff in here. I still have 550,000 nether quartz <laughs> and 25,000 netherite scrap, uh, I got tons of stuff over here still. Um, I don't even know if it's worth uh, clearing all this stuff out and putting it into the new system. Uh, like there's tons of things I need to get coming into that system over there. Like this one has the ability uh, to do all the industrial foregoing stuff. Oh, dude, um, why can't, I thought I was able to go in without the shrinking device. Yeah, uh, I have all my, my plastic over here. Um, and all my machines the dissolution chamber to do the auto crafting is in here um that's really like i i need to probably just tear all this stuff up and take it over and replace it in the new system because leaving it here is like a crutch i just keep coming back and using it uh, so I'm probably going to do that, mess around with my Ars Nouveau. Why does it look like I have zero mana? Probably because of a big issue. There we go. Now I have mana. <laughs> All right. I'm really, really, really going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.